Before 2022, the Windows usually came with a pre-installed web browser, Internet Explorer. But now you find the Windows without any pre-installed web browser. So why the Internet Explorer was discontinued? Today in this video, we will be discussing about what was Internet Explorer and why it was seized. And before all this, we will be getting an in-view on how Internet Explorer was released. Giving reference to the previous video, the first three versions of Windows from Windows 1.0 to 3.1 before Windows 9X emerged without Internet Explorer. At that time, Spyglass was an internet software company which was founded in 1990 and it focused on data visualization tools, such as graphing packages and 3D rendering engines. Spyglass was well known at that time for developing first ever and its own web browser called Mosaic Web Browser. It was developed in 1992 at National Center for Supercomputing Application and later was released in 1993. From late 1994, Mosaic lost market share to Netscape Navigator 12 and only had a tiny fraction of users left. By 1997, when the project was discontinued, Microsoft decided to own the technology from Spygla and they did so. And so the first version of Internet Explorer was developed when Microsoft released Windows 95 in 1990. They released Internet Explorer version 1.0 with it. In 1998, the US Department of Justice sued Microsoft for antitrust violations, accusing the company of, among other things, stifling web browser competition by bundling Internet Explorer with Windows. But finally, in 2001, the two sides reached a settlement that did not require Microsoft to unbundle Internet Explorer from the operating system. Now the Internet Explorer 1.0 usually came with many features which made it popular. It had modern day web browser features like you can download image from the internet and navigate through web pages. But many features were also absent like tabs, extensions. Microsoft upgraded Internet Explorer by releasing its second version in the same year on November 27. The main change in version 2.0 was its release for the Mac operating system. And so now Apple could also use Internet Explorer. It was usually launched with 12 languages, which were increased to 24. Its version 3 was released in August 1996. This version also came bundled along with Outlook Express, which is also discontinued nowadays. Like these, Microsoft released version 4.0, 5.0 to 11.0 with some minor feature updates and bug fixes. Internet Explorer was very popular at that time and had gained 538.29 million users all over the world in 2014. But this number instead of rising started to decline after 2014 and had declined to 69.71 million in 2021. The reason behind its decline were many like its competition from other web browsers, Mozilla, Firefox, Google Chrome and Opera Mini. People started to prefer these browsers because they were fast and reliable. On the other hand, Internet Explorer was slow and sluggish and did not offer tabs and extension. At that time, another web browser was released by Microsoft called Microsoft Edge in 2015. And Microsoft wanted to ground up MS Edge and shift people to use MS Edge for this reason. Microsoft initially ended all its technical support to Internet Explorer except its 11th version, which was to be replaced with Microsoft Edge. Finally, Microsoft announced to end its support for Internet Explorer version 11, and the browser that was ruled the Windows was now officially out from the window. Although the Internet Explorer is dead in Windows, but still Microsoft Edge features an Internet Explorer mode in it, which can just be assessed by going in its setting, then go to default, here you will find an Internet Explorer mode, but still after allowing the mode, the Internet Explorer mode option is grayed out. But there's an Internet Explorer test mode in which that option will be available. Microsoft announced that they will enable this mode till 2029. Microsoft will provide a minimum of one year notice prior to end of support. But technically, Internet Explorer is dead from now and there's no support for it in Windows. And now I hope that this detailed tutorial may have helped you in understanding Internet Explorer. And if it did so, make sure to subscribe the channel and thumbs up for the video. I will make sure to meet you in another video. Till then, 